Now it's time for The Doctor is In. Help is on the horizon for patients with blood cancers. Dr. Nicole Angel from Southern Cancer Center is here to discuss a breakthrough in cancer treatment using bispecific antibodies and why it's being called the next big thing. Dr. Angel, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, explain to us how does this work, bispecific antibodies? Well, it's a very targeted therapy for very specific cancers. It's a very small niche of patients. Um, and so it is not for everyone. It is not first line. It is for people that have failed multiple lines of therapy. And it initially it has to be given at a larger center because of the side effects. So it basically um, takes the cancer cell and binds it with the T cell. And the T cell is the one that uh, in the immune system that triggers cell death for the cancer cell. And, and it's got all kinds of little helper cells and they give off chemicals called cytokines and that's where the side effects come in. That's why it has to be given or at least started in a larger center where they know how to deal with the side effects more. And you said this isn't for everyone. This is a, a, someone who's tried and tried other treatments. Correct. What types of cancers are you seeing this being used for? So the first one was in 1994 for a B cell acute lymphocytic lymph leukemia, which is for children. Um, there is one for lung cancers, specific lung cancers. There's um, two large cell lymphomas. There's a follicular lymphoma. And uh, most recently in August, two were approved for multiple myeloma. Is this treatment being available it's, it's right now? It is available, it's FDA approved. Um, usually it will get started at a bigger center and then once the side effects kind of calm down after they've gotten a few doses, then it could be given locally at a, a place like a cancer center locally. And you mentioned side effects. What are patients experiencing? Uh, the cytokine um, side effects come in with a high, high fever, low blood pressure, kind of flu-like symptoms, but really magnified. So they have to be watched very closely given fluids, and they're actually doing better with the cytokine syndrome. They're, they're getting better treatments for it. All right, so this is the next big thing for people. We're going to talk about a lot more because there's so much more to cover, Dr. Angel. We'll hope you join us on our Facebook page. Thank you.